Life comes at you fast in the sporting world. And just in general, life can come at you very fast. So I always caution people who get a little little too confident, a little too cocky to, uh, to slow it a little bit because life comes at you fast, people. Prime example of that was Saturday afternoon in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You'll recall that LSU lost to Troy University the, the weekend before. Uh, or two weekends before, rather. Um, Troy pulled off an upset. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of sent LSU into a, a you know, we're going to have a bunch of team meetings, we're going to have a bunch of players-only meetings. The, the athletic director met with the head coach and the coordinators and blah, blah, blah. Well, fast forward to uh, to Saturday afternoon, and Auburn is just destroying LSU early in that football game. I was driving to Bryant Denny Stadium. I was listening to the Auburn radio broadcast, and um, when I got out of the car at Bryant Denny Stadium, uh, Auburn was in front twenty to nothing, and I thought, "Whoo, boy, Ed, Coach Ogeron, this is going to be bad for you." And apparently, Aubie, the Tiger, which is the uh, Auburn mascot, felt pretty good about it, too. Because Aubie, the Tiger, put on a Trojan uniform for Troy. The Troy Trojans to make fun of LSU for losing to Troy. Life comes at you fast, Aubie. Life comes at you fast, Aubie. Because what happened in that game? Auburn raced out to a 20 to nothing lead. They're feeling really good about themselves. They scored three points. They, they took a 20 nothing lead with 1250 left in the second quarter. Over the next 42 minutes and 50 seconds. Or rather, 42 minutes. And uh, in 10 seconds, Auburn scored three points the rest of the way. Life comes at you fast. College sports is fun, and, and I, I know Aubie did that lightheartedly. It was meant to be in fun, unless you're an LSU fan, and you probably really didn't like it. But now there's a picture of Aubie that he's going to be associated with for the rest of his life that he called a shot a little too soon. Went making fun of the, went making fun of the uh, LSU program and his team blew a 20, nothing lead. Life comes at you fast. How are you feeling Alabama fans? I mean, that, that loss does give Auburn its second loss of the season, but only one of those are in conference. If Auburn wins out, Alabama wins out and Auburn beats Alabama. Guess who's going to Atlanta? I get the sense from Alabama fans that they are dreading another 2013 where Auburn had one conference loss. Alabama went down there unbeaten, lost on a fluke play and a fluke game. Alabama, you go back and watch that 2013 Iron Bowl. Alabama dominated that game. That game shouldn't have been close. I remember could, 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 couldn't kick field goals. They got stopped on fourth and one. When's the last time I remember Alabama gets stopped on fourth and one? Hats off to Auburn. They won the game. But Alabama fans are uh, nervous, and they're hoping that someone on Auburn's remaining schedule can knock them off so that game will not determine the West. Auburn has conference games with Arkansas at Texas A&M. They host Georgia. And then, of course, the Iron Bowl. So if, uh, you get the sense Auburn's going to lose one of those, but Auburn's one of those teams, man. Auburn's one of those teams, if they get hot, you never know. Oh, by the way, they just kicked a receiver off their team today. That's the third player Auburn's dismissed this year in the middle of the season. Sean White, Byron Cowart, and now they kicked off Kyle Davis. So there you go.